Now, 2022 has been an amazing year so far for new golf product, but in my opinion, one brand has absolutely smashed it. You see, the thing is, there's been some amazing product. Like I said, Callaway release, well, their new driver range has been incredible, as was the Rogue Pro Irons. Mizuno Iron Range, again, fantastic. The Ping Glide 4 wedges were released just a month or so ago, and they were also incredible. And let's not forget Cobra's new driver lineup, which yet again has performed incredibly well. But none of those brands have managed to achieve what this one brand has done for 2022. sneaky long as well you see the thing is every year there'll be a standout product that everybody has one brand has a standout product but never does one brand have every single product in the range that i would stick at possibly top of the tree so like i said in the intro from ball through to driver one brand has got everything right this year and that's a real shock to me and in amongst all that there's a real surprise package as well which i'll reveal very very shortly driver needs no introduction and uh, that's smack bang in the middle of the fairway you've seen it on the previous clip so there's no clues really that i've given away that so don't tell you that this is all about tailor-made but don't go anywhere because there's been a lot of noise made about this stealth driver but to me there are many more stars in the show of this range this year i won't tell you exactly why you shouldn't be overlooking tailor-made in 2022 that one a little bit down the left are we going in the bunker oh oh no it kicked on the top side of it but next up is fairway woods now for me i want a couple of things from a fairway wood i want to be able to pick it up out of the rough i want to pick it off a tight line off the fairway and i want to be able to play it off the tee and with these woods they do that extremely well and for me the thing that it does really well is it launches the ball incredibly high it picks it up really good we're getting some ball speeds off the bottom of the club face which is again is really really important for average golfers so whichever you're looking for from three through to five wood i think there might be a seven wood in the range as well then these do these woods incredibly well and they look fantastic as well so great ball speeds great launch angles can make them very playable for average golfers they're in the bag what's up next right so at this stage of the video i want your feedback if you were choosing to play one brand right now what would it be because uh, there's a lot of brand loyalty out there but often that's uh, kind of misplaced in my opinion. You're not necessarily picking the best product throughout the bag. It is just all about brand loyalty. But if you had to pick one brand right now, which one would it be? Well, more than happy with where that one has finished up. But more importantly, what matters to you is this. I've tested the three, four and the five hybrid out of this range. Don't forget there's two head types for you to choose from, depending on what you're looking for. But what I find particularly good about the Stealth hybrids this year was two things. Ball speeds, incredibly fast off the face and good carry distances therefore. And also the ability to launch the ball extremely high. Now I think two of those things are really key in finding the right hybrid that suits you. But don't forget that broad spectrum as well, right the way from three, I think maybe even into seven hybrid is available as an option. And again, a massive box ticked from TaylorMade. So what's next? So, so far I've told you about the Stealth Driver, which you knew a lot about. The uh, Fairway Woods, the hybrids, which you probably knew a lot about. There's one product yet to be revealed, which I think is possibly the star of the show and caps off the whole lot for TaylorMade. 
and I'll reveal that shortly, so don't go anywhere. So we're into irons, and I'm not gonna hit every iron on the camera, but when you consider what's out there right now from TaylorMade, we've got the Stealth irons, that's pretty much their game improvement iron. You're then looking at P790s, which is their, uh, well, their foam injected player's distance iron, that category would be. P770s, a finer, uh, more refined offering of the P790. Three incredibly good irons on offer in their 2022 range. And then, if I tell you that I think in October of this year we're due the new iteration of the P-Series, then yet again, there's an incredible range of opportunity for average golfers to choose an iron that suits their game. And each and every one of them is incredibly good from TaylorMade. So as I said at the beginning of this video, we've gone driver through to iron so far. The choice is incredible. And I'd argue that it'd be hard to pick fault with any product that I've shown you so far. So that bottom end of the bag putters the Spider GT range. Well, in my opinion, they don't come any better in terms of the quality of the build. They again each offer the face insert is superb in terms of the way it feels. There's a number of different models to suit each and every eye in terms of what you want as an individual. But yet again, you can't criticize the way in which Spider GT range has been put together. Very much like the same as everything now that we've seen so far from driver right the way down to putter with one item left. Okay, so we've returned inside and apologies for the audio earlier on the video. We didn't realize till quite late on that there was an issue. So apologies for that. I've returned inside the van and I will reveal what I think is, well, possibly the most interesting release from in 2022 from this tailor-made range. And it is an odd one, but before we get there, let's not forget to mention the MG3 wedges from TaylorMade, which again are superb quality, perform exceptionally well. So like I said, all through the bag, unreal in terms of my opinion on how good these products are. But then this special product, what is it? Well, it's a golf ball and it's a golf ball very much with a difference. But first of all, it's a tour response ball, which performs incredibly well, again, for many, many average golfers. And it's at a good price point for the quality of ball that you're getting. But then the alignment aid, the visual alignment aid that they've included in this ball is significantly different than what I've seen before. Now, I know we've seen triple track and we've seen a few other balls that have sort of uh, led the way, I think, to be fair, in this kind of uh, marketplace. But I think what TaylorMade have done is created something that is really visually very, very strong indeed. It also is incredibly easy to align. And when you couple that with a ball marker, if I can get that ball to rest there for a second, the ball marker is incredibly good as well. And like I said, let's not get too carried away. This is a ball marker, but this coupled with the ball is a superb way of aligning things. And I think that's incredibly... First of all, it's easy. It's a lot quicker than just aligning the lines on your ball, the markings on your ball. So to put this in position, first of all, place the ball in line with the marker. It's so, so good. Trust me, it is so effective in terms of getting your alignment right. I just cannot believe that in the next year or so, we don't see a putter with these same colorings on that match this whole thing up together. So ball, marker, and your putter head is gonna have this kind of visual look on it, in my opinion. But trust me, like I said, first of all, an exceptionally good golf ball, but the alignment aid is just so, so good. It's so strong in terms of its visibility. They just took it to another level, in my opinion. And like I said, really just cap off what is an incredible range from TaylorMade. My summary is gonna be a very, very quick one. I put this video together simply because I was testing TaylorMade product and I just kind of thought, Do you know what, that's, that's decent. Then I picked up another product within TaylorMade's range. I thought, well, ah, that's decent. And obviously so on and so forth. And so right the way through the range, I thought, well, has anybody actually produced a range that I have felt that is go as good as this, right the way from the ball that I've just uh, shown you, right the way up to the top end of the bag in driver. Like I said, some people are brand loyal. They don't like TaylorMade, they do like TaylorMade, whatever. I think if you put everything to one side and just ask yourself the question, within what I've shown you today, and we've got the P-Series coming later on this year. I think TaylorMade have put a real good product range together. And like I said earlier, I'd find it very hard to criticize what they've put out right now. In, on every level, from a looks perspective, from the kind of feel and sound, from the performance levels, everything is ticking the boxes that you should be looking for from an average golfer. So my message would be a simple one. If you're considering buying new product this year, then I reckon you should be considering 
putting TaylorMade into your list of possibilities to try. That's all I've got to say. Right, I'm done. I'm trying to hold on to my little Muttley down here. Little Penny is uh, making an appearance. There she is just on that other camera. You can just see a little bit of her. So she's getting a little bit bored of me uh, waffling on and no doubt you are too. So we'll call it a day at that bit. Thanks for watching. Uh, as ever, feedback down below. Love to hear from you and uh, hit that like, thumbs up button. Get involved in the channel in whichever way you can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.